The Invasion of the Transdimensional Forces, Chapter 3 The Raid the Resistance had been gathering intelligence on the transdimensional forces for days. They knew that the invaders had set up a base of operations in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the city. It was heavily guarded and protected by powerful energy shields, making it nearly impossible to breach. But the resistance had a plan. Emily had been working on a new weapon that could disrupt the invaders' shields, and they believed that it was their best chance of success. Maya and Max were chosen to lead the raid on the warehouse, along with a small team of highly skilled fighters. The group set out in the dead of night, moving silently through the deserted streets. They approached the warehouse, staying low to avoid detection. As they drew closer, Maya could hear the sound of the transdimensional fosses' weapons and machinery. It sent chills down her spine, but she pushed the fear aside and focused on the mission. When they reached the warehouse, Max signaled for the team to split up. They would enter the warehouse from different sides, creating a diversion to distract the guards while Maya and Max made their way to the heart of the base. Maya and Max moved quickly, taking out guards silently with knives and stun guns. They made their way to the control room, where Emily was waiting for them. She had the weapon ready, and she handed it over to Max. Max took aim and fired the weapon at the energy shield. Maya watched in amazement as the shield flickered and then disappeared entirely. They had breached the transdimensional fosses' defenses. The group moved in quickly, taking out guards and destroying machinery as they went. Maya had never felt so alive as she fought alongside her comrades moving with a precision and coordination that only came with intense training and trust. Finally, they reached the heart of the base. Maya could see the portal, a swirling vortex of energy that led to the invaders' home dimension. She knew that they had to destroy it, or the transdimensional forces would continue to pour through and wreak havoc on their world. Maya and Max placed explosives around the portal, making sure to set the timers so that they had enough time to get out before it detonated. But as they turned to leave, they were confronted by the transdimensional Foss's leader, a towering figure with tentacles for arms. Maya and Max engaged the leader in battle, fighting with all their strength. Maya could feel the adrenaline pumping through her veins as she dodged the creature's attacks and struck back with all her might. Finally, the explosives detonated, sending shockwaves through the base. Maya and Max were thrown clear of the blast, landing in a heap outside the warehouse. They looked up to see the portal collapsing in on itself, the transdimensional Foss's home world disappearing into nothingness. The resistance had won a major victory. Maya felt a sense of elation and relief wash over her as she realized that they had dealt a serious blow to the invaders' plans. She knew that the fight was far from over, but in that moment, she felt like they were one step closer to taking back their world.